Hey, what up? It's Ty, 1822. Man, you know, two weeks ago, you know, on Monday Night Raw, Triple H beat down Daniel Bryan. And, you know, it was an amazing way to end Monday Night Raw. And, you know, I just want to say Triple H should get more credit. Triple H, you know, been getting bashed by a lot of wrestling fans, you know, on the internet, saying that, you know, he wouldn't be nowhere if he didn't, you know, marry the family. He's overrated. You know, he's been having heat for years by these fans. And, you know, a lot of them won't give him credit. But Triple H should get more credit. Triple H is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Dude, I mean, the like the best in-ring general, like Stone Coast the Austin said. I mean, put on a lot of uh, put on a lot of these matches during his career. Uh, you know, the DX thing, you know, when Shawn Michaels retired, he did his thing right there. Evolution, you know, with Batista and Randy Orton, you know, they always say he buried, you know, a lot of superstars, but you know, look, we have Evolution. Two big stars came out of there, Batista, Randy Orton, you know, Rick Flair, he revived him. Now, I know Triple H, you know, had his, you know, a lot of bullshit, you know, Goldberg situation, Rob and Dam, you know, I didn't like that stuff either. But, you know, it happens. This professional wrestling, everybody had some bullshit backstage. Nobody perfect. Shamai was not perfect. The Rock not perfect. Hulk Hogan perfect. Stone Point perfect. You know, nobody perfect in the wrestling business. John Cena not perfect. Triple H should just get more credit, man. I mean, he really should get more credit from these fans. Look at this guy's career, man. I mean, the stuff he accomplished in his career. Um, always been entertaining to watch to me. Love watching his matches. Love hearing his promos. That Daniel Bryan beat down, man. That was awesome. And Triple H, he's a part-timer now. And he is so good as a hill. And for years, people like, yo, can Triple H turn hill? Triple H finally turned hill. You know, he in a suit now. He corporate. And these last couple weeks, he's been so entertaining as hell, man. And it's just, it's just bringing up, it's just bringing, it's just bringing back to me how great this guy really is. Because, you know, Triple H was the face, you know, for a lot of years. And he always been better as a hill. And since he's been a hill, man, he's just been awesome. Uh, and this storyline with Danny Bryant, you know, a lot of fans are like, oh, Triple H's going to bury Danny Bryant. But what he really doing, he playing to y'all. Y'all hate him so much. So he playing to y'all and having the people get pissed off and having y'all get pissed off by the Danny Bryant situation. He doing his job as a hill to make y'all care about Danny Bryant even more. You know, a lot of people just thinking that, oh, he just doing this because he's going to bury Danny Bryant like he did past superstars. He's not doing it. He's going to bring Daniel Bryan up. Because we all know Daniel Bryan would be him at WrestleMania 30. But it's still intriguing to watch their match at WrestleMania 30 to see who will head into the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. Triple H is just one of the best, man. He proved it. When I was watching the Daniel Bryan thing, I was like, damn, I forgot how good this guy is, man. Triple H is one of the greatest of all time in the WWE. It's not like, you know, he got married to Stephanie McMahon and all of a sudden he got a push. He had to work his ass off also. He didn't have acid. One thing you can say about Triple H, Triple H never had acid. In. Triple H always worked his ass off in the WWE. He just, they, hey, I'm going to marry you, Steph, and that's it. And I get a big ass push. It was nothing like that. Triple H worked his ass off in the WWE. They had to give him credit right there. He always worked his ass off. I mean, just think about all the stuff that Trey did for his business. Look at NXT. Triple H ideal. The future of the WWE. That's all Triple H ideal. Triple H just is a wrestling mind. He's great for the wrestling business. Like I said, nobody perfect. Everybody bury somebody someday. Shawn Michaels, John Cena, The Rock, Stone Cold. They all did it. It happens. It's a wrestling business. So, you know, y'all just need to give Triple H credit, man. I mean, the guy, you know, is just one of the best of all time. But, you know, even though I'm saying y'all should give him more credit, of course y'all going to give him less credit. Because y'all just going to say, oh, you know, he buried this person, he buried this person. Fuck Triple H. He buried Booker T. It happens. It's the wrestling business. But y'all got to give this man credit. He does so much stuff in the WWE. I mean, it's just like the John Cena situation. You know, a lot of y'all won't give John Cena credit. Y'all won't give Triple H credit. But Triple H does a lot for this business. I mean, uh, uh, the matches. Him and Undertaker, WrestleMania 20. 
Um, well, 27 and 28. I mean, just great stuff, man. Him and Shawn Michaels, awesome few, man. Just great stuff. Triple H, Nick Foley in 2000 and 2001, Hell in a Cell match, Street Fight, the Royal Rumble. Great stuff, man. Him and Foley was in the early days, you know, as a mid car, him and the Rock, ladder match, classic. So much great stuff Triple H gave us in the WWE. And I just think, you know, fans, they just need to get this guy more credit, man, because he's just been excellent. And he's a part time. Look at these superstars, Steve Davis Hills. They don't generate heat like Triple H doing. He's a part time. Randy Orton don't generate heat like this. Batista, he's just doing it because people like Dan, because people like Daniel Bryan. But Triple H is playing to the crowd. He's pissing everybody off. That's what the hill is supposed to do. And he's a part time. And he he this like this is the best hill work I would say since Randy Orton in 2008. Or I could say Sam Park and SS. He was the great hill. But but he just been awesome as a hill. Just tremendous, man. I'm loving what Triple H is doing, man. He's one of my favorites all time. Like I said, I'll give y'all some reasons why y'all should give him a credit. Look at NXT thing. Look at you deal for Batista and Randy Orton. Without Triple H with Batista and Orton, Reflect Evolution, Randy Orton and Batista not superstars without Triple H. We all can say that. Without Triple H, those two guys who will be at WrestleMania 30, they are not who they are today if it wasn't for Triple H. So, that's all I say you about the game. Triple H, one of the greatest of all time. A lot of y'all got to give this man more credit. But y'all not anyway because a lot of wrestling marks, y'all get so butthurt over shit that y'all are not willing to give anybody credit. So, don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I am out. Peace.